Okay. Um, so I read today that both Kanye West and Will Smith are both checking into rehab. Um, that is very, very interesting. Um, I think it's going to be a positive experience for both of them. It does feel like they both probably have an overwhelming amount of stress in their lives. It would be even more fascinating if they were both in the same rehabilitation center. <laughs> um, but I think, like I've said before, I think that I think talk therapy and cognitive behavioral therapy, those are actually really positive things. Um, life is just hard. It's, it's hard for everyone. Like everyone has it hard. And the more skills that you have to deal with adversity, it's gonna make for a, a better life, a life that's more worth living. Um, uh, I mean, yeah, I think that both of those men have, you know, so much access and so many resources. And I guess it is kind of like shocking that they're just now getting to a point where they're like, I need therapy or I need more intense therapy or I don't know, you know, because it does feel like when you get to the point where you have to go to a facility, um, you've hit a wall, right? Like, um, I find that it's a lot more effective to just continue to have regular talk therapy um that's just continuous because some people feel like they only need support when there's something challenging happening in their lives and that at all the other times they like have the skills and ability to deal with whatever's going on in reality we could probably all use support uh during all the times because sometimes we are socialized by other people's experiences and so we get this impression that something that is actually really big for us because it was small for someone else that we don't need support and that's just wrong like there is a girl who I went to OSA with who posted something she was like just because something is scary for you doesn't mean it's scary and that was like the dumbest thing I've ever heard ever. Like the feelings real is real and everyone has different experiences where they experience those feelings. So fear for me does not look like fear for her or you or anyone else. Cause we're different. We've all had different lived experiences. This is why it actually doesn't really make sense to compare yourself to anybody else, like anybody else. Because, like, no one else is walking through the world in the same way that you are. Even if someone else is, like, black or female or your age group or in your city, they have different family members, okay? They have different romantic partners. They have different friends. They have different religious communities. There's always something that's different where they're, they've been socialized in a different way than you have. So your experiences are not the same. You guys are not going to react different. And also your personalities are just different. Maybe more people haven't looked into like the different personality types. Like if I remember, I'm like INTJ, I think, or INTF. I can't remember. It's one of the I's though, because I'm super, I'm an introvert for sure. Um, but yeah, like um, Everyone experiences the world in a different way. And uh, I think that those two men are going to come out of the rehabilitation center, specifically Kanye. I don't, I think that, um, I think that in Kanye's case, so many people have been pushing medication um, onto him that he hasn't actually been able to explore the other forms of therapy and there are quite a lot and this is why i try to be very specific when i'm saying talk therapy i think if kanye west has not been getting regular talk therapy um that 
like that is probably what would really help him sort through a lot of the emotions that he's feeling because like all of the things that he's brought to social media and music videos and rants online are normal things that people talk about in therapy but it's just that therapy is a safe space where you have a licensed professional so when you come with those thoughts that are a little bit extreme you can kind of get to the root cause of why you feel those extreme thoughts and you can start to unpack healthy ways to deal with them and then unpack other solutions and forms of support that you can reach out to to help you get to the resolve that you want like for instance um I don't know I didn't like I said I don't watch like horror shit so I didn't even know that he that Kanye West put out the music video around Pete the one where he was like dying or something I don't know I don't watch things like that also I don't listen to rap music like basically anything that's like derogatory that's talking down to someone that is showing like death or something like I'd I'm not gonna watch it that's not my thing like I am dark and I, I like I definitely like walk around in black and experience sadness a lot but um th those are that stems from stuff in my own life right that I am dealing with and unpacking so I don't need anyone else's baggage you know t to like I don't need anyone else's shit coming in and weighing me down even more. Like I already have my own. That's just a real part of me like living in my life t t to its full extent and me feeling my feelings around whatever to the fullest and just not really caring about how other people experience it. Cause it does, sometimes it's weird for other people. That's why sometimes I create like little dummy Instagram accounts where I can kind of play around with like pictures and images and stuff where I get to feel out like what feels good for me and really trying to get to a place where I can experience all the feelings on the feelings wheel. Um, also, I'm going to make uh, a couple more videos about the feelings wheel, but we'll, we'll save that. Um, so yeah, I think that for Kanye West, I really hope that talk therapy is just a huge part of his rehab. And I, I, I just, I hope he finds, um, I hope he gets a female therapist. Um, that's one thing. And, and the reason that I think that would be really good for him is because I think he will be able to understand from a female perspective some of the ways that Kim might feel unsafe and that his daughters might feel unsafe with some of the behavior that he's been demonstrating because even if I'm not a fan of Kim Kardashian and, and I might like agree with some of the things that Kanye West uh, has done or said um harassing a, a woman is just like it can be really really scary and it's it's gonna make his daughters feel unsafe and that's just like the reality because being a woman in society is just really hard and really scary so yeah, I think I think he'll be able to unpack that. Um, it also, I mean, I don't know. I like I I found that having um, therapists that are uh, different from me, like from a different racial group, from a different gender, like those types of things, have really helped me unpack uh, kind of like both sides of like privilege and gender things like that. But then there are sometimes, sometimes you might find someone who just has quite a lot of bias and so they actually don't see you as like, um, yeah, they, they might not be able to see past their own bias, which would make that the sessions non-therapeutic. So that's actually not helpful. Um, so I guess you have to be able to identify that too. Um, yeah, but I think in Will Smith's case, unpacking the anger is going to be really healthy for him to just really get to a place where he figures out where that anger is stemming from why he felt that much anger and why he felt that 
taking that anger out on Chris was the right thing to do. Um, but I think that it's very important that those feelings come up and that those feelings are acknowledged and that those feelings are, and that he is able to explore constructive ways to act on those feelings in the society in which we live. Because a lot of people feel anger. It's not just him. Like, a lot of people feel anger. Um, I also think a lot of people suppress their anger. That's really real, too. So that's why we have a lot of unhappy people out in the world. But um, I think, yeah, once you've gotten to a place where you can deal, you can acknowledge your anger, and then you can deal with it. That's a really good thing. Um, I just, I hope that both of those men, though, do take an opportunity to share back with the community, like, what it is that they've learned and how they've grown from that, those rehabilitation programs. Because, um, like, sometimes it actually is not therapy. It's just, like, a getaway, like a, like a vacation where you just basically sleep you know, drink juice and, like, look at the water and play in water and stuff. Like, I've been to those kind of retreats, too. It's like you, you you actually aren't unpacking any of the shit that is going on with you, which is what you need to do. The way you do that is through talk therapy, like I said before. And in those types of retreats, sometimes it's, like, group sessions, so you might not have the opportunity to get as much time as you might need to unpack your personal shit. But... Um, I guess anything is better than nothing, but I still feel like the, the solution to get to the core of their problems would be recurring talk therapy. And both of those men have issues that we have, like, we have seen, we can, we, we can call them by names, right? Like, Will Smith seems to be dealing with stress and anger. And Kanye West seems to be dealing with, like, jealousy and uh, maybe, like, rage. And also maybe um, his identity as, as a father. That does seem to be something that is, like, maybe he doesn't understand or he doesn't feel completely comfortable with yet. It is new for him. Um... Yeah. I th I just, yeah, I honestly just, I wish that more men in general, you know, had the opportunity to receive talk therapy and um, unpack their feelings, especially their feelings around their relationships and their significant others and women in general, like the way that they see women women in society, the women in their lives. Um, that actually might be something useful to have like policy around. I just feel like a lot of the shit that's going on in America with like race and class and gender and religion and womanhood, um, there are a lot of people who could benefit from talk therapy. And um, I don't think that there are enough therapists in the country. And I don't think that um, everyone has adequate health care uh, coverage that would support that therapy. So those are things that we need to fix.